Hello guys, welcome to Mental Ray Exterior Light and Render Setup tutorial created by www.renderray.com. In this video tutorial, we will work on the exterior light setup, render settings and HDRI, environment effects, and Mental Ray photographic exposure control setup to make a realistic and professional render. Check www.renderray.com to download all these professional 3D scenes prepared with V-Ray, Brazil, Mental Ray, Final Render, etc. and to view more video tutorials, and it is free. And to download the sample scene needed for this tutorial, or to watch this video tutorial with high resolution, go to www.renderray.com. Let's turn back to my tutorial. Open RenderRay Downloads Mental Ray Exterior Lighting Start that you downloaded from RenderRay.com. As you see, I've already created an architectural scene to set the lighting for Mental Ray, and I created some layers to organize my models to work faster. You can see these layers by clicking this icon. There we go. As you see, the ground with the swimming pool is in one layer. Our architectural model and the plants and trees are in different layers. This layer editor is really a great tool to work with layers to hide, to freeze, or to select the models or model groups and to organize your work. For the moment, I will hide the ground and plants layer by clicking here and here, and it is hide it. Okay, let's get started. First of all, create a new layer and click on the text and name it lights. We will create all the lights under this layer. Now close it. Open the render parameters by clicking this icon or by clicking F10. Ok, now we are at the common parameters of scanline. Before assigning V-Ray as a renderer, I would like to change the render output to 320 uh, by 240. Now I will go to assign render overload, uh, which is found at the bottom part. Uh, as you see by default, it is the scanline renderer. Click into this small box and double click to Mental Ray. Now Mental Ray Render is assigned. OK. Now let's create some lights for exterior lighting. To do that, go to and click this little icon that represents the light creation and click Skylight. And at the top view, click somewhere uh, on the bottom right part of our plane to create our Skylight. And that's it. Now we have our Skylight. Now, on the right side, as you see, we have our Skylight parameters. By default, it's set to 1 as a multiplier. I will change this value to 0 0.55 to have a soft light. And I will check Use Scene Environment to show you guys how to set up HDRI and Mental Ray Photographic Exposure Control Setup. Now, click to Target Directional Light and at the top view, I will click somewhere around the left bottom side of our plane and drag it till the middle of our architectural model. And at the left view, move our directional light much higher somewhere here. That's good. This will be our sunlight. Now click the modify icon to see the light parameters. And click the shadows on to have some shadows. And choose ray traced shadows from the drop down menu uh, here to have high quality shadows. Under intensity control attenuation, to change the light color, click this colored area and choose a light cream color, something like this, and click OK. Now, go to Direction Parameters and enter 1200 for Hotspot Beam, which is the light blue area on our left view, as you see in this part. And as a follow field, enter 1800, uh, by the way, which is the dark blue part. If you like to have much blurred shadows, you need to enter high values for the fall off. Now, go to the top view, select the two lights, and at the top, click on the layer icon, select the light layer that we have created, right click and choose Add Selected Objects. This will add the two lights under the light layer, and unhide our ground with swimming pool and plant layer by clicking these icons. Now, close the editor. Next step is to assign an HDRI to create an image based lighting as an environment. To do that, go to the top menu and click Rendering, and under Rendering, choose Environment. As you see, for the moment, there is nothing under the Environment Map. To assign, you need to click Environment Map. There we go. Now, under Material Map, Browser, click Bitmap, and browse the HDRI image from the source file that you downloaded from RenderRay, and click Open. Under HDRI Load Settings, if it's not selected under Internal Storage, check Real Pixels, and definitive exposure and click OK. Now our environment HDRI map is assigned. Now we will open our material editor and we will drag our environment map into the first slot 
and click to instance. Okay, now our HDRI map is in our material editor. Under coordinates mapping, switch screen into spherical environment. Now, by using offset, we can turn our environment as you wish. And totally at the bottom, under output, we can change the intensity of HDRI environment by hiring and lowering the output amount, something like this, yeah. Anyway, now name this material as sky. Now close environment and material editor. There we go. Now we will set our render settings. Open our render scene window and click render at the upper part. Change minimum sample per pixel to 1 and maximum up to 16. And under filter type, choose Lancos. It's a faster algorithm than Box. Do not change the spatial contrast to have accurate results. Uncheck lock samples and turn on jitter. Now to have faster render, change the bucket order to spiral. Ok, now go to the undirect illumination and enable final gather and change the initial final gather point density to 0 0.04 and raise per final gather point to something like 50. Interpolate over number of final gathering points to 0 0.5 and at last change the diffuse bounces to 6 and weight to 0 0.5. Okay, now under caustics and global illumination, which is at the bottom part, enable global illumination and set the multiplier to 6 and change the maximum number of photons per sample to 2000 and check and set maximum sampling radius to 60. Do not check to merge nearby photons to have better quality global illumination and check optimize for final gather for good quality and under volumes change the maximum number of photons per sample to 500 there we go let's click render not bad and it did not take a long time to render but the image is really dark to correct that go to rendering environment and under exposure control, choose mental ray, photographic exposure control. And under the exposure presets, select non-physically based lighting because for this story we did not set up a physical sky. And under photographic exposure as shutter speed, enter 512. Aperture f-stop, f number is the exposure control of our camera. Higher values make the rendered image darker and lower values make the image brighter. In addition, to create some nice depth of field effect, this parameter is really important. Anyway, let's enter one. Film speed. ISO is the sensitivity of the film. Higher values make our image brighter and lower values make it darker. Let's enter 1200. Now, by using the image control, you can adjust the highlights, midtones, and the shadows of our rendered image. I suggest you to do some test renders for mastering these controls. I already made some test renders, so I will enter 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and 1 for shadows. Color saturation is to saturate or to desaturate our image. I will enter 1.9 as a value. I will not touch the value of white points. Wingnutting makes the corners a little bit darker, like in the real-life cameras, and it gives a sense of realism. I will enter 2 for Wingnutting, and let's close the environment effect window and click Render. As you see, now it's much better. Now I will save this scene as Render Ray Downloads Mental Ray Exterior Lighting finished. So see you for our next tutorial. Bye.